Okay, let's get started. I'm sure some of you are ready and raring to go for a busy Friday in the clinic. So, so we'll get going. As I've said, we will be recording the session so you can watch back on demand if you do have to leave just before the end or if you want to play back to anybody in clinic. But thank you so much for joining us this Friday morning. We're here today um, at today's Business Solutions session focusing on radio frequency. We've been looking forward to this one all week because it's such an in-demand topic at the minute. And we're going to look at how you choose the right radio frequency device for your clinic and get the most out of it. My name is Rebecca Walton and today I'm joined by Rebecca O'Brien, all the Rebeccas. Um, we both work as part of the sales and training team at Aesthetica and we are on hand to answer any questions throughout today's session as well. So just before we start on radio frequency, I'm just going to introduce us Aesthetic Air. So Aesthetic Air is the go-to partner for skin professionals. We work together to enhance skin appearance, skin health and well-being. We've got a strong industry reputation and I'm sure many of you will know the other brands that we offer here at Aesthetic Air, such as our brand new Alpha, um, Laser and IPL device, Emapel, Newer, HelioCare, All Skin Med. We've got lots of brands that you can work with with us. We've got a dedicated team bringing a wealth of knowledge, experience and enthusiasm. We offer advanced treatments, which I've just touched on, and at home devices as well. Everything we work with offers outstanding results and an exceptional client experience. Um, we're very, a very small, agile company with a dynamic approach guaranteed to drive your business forward. We provide professional training, outstanding business support, expert marketing support, exceptional customer service and an efficient warehouse team. So significant growth on the horizon. So despite a global pandemic, non-evasive aesthetic procedures have seen a huge surge in demand. Um, the Zoom effect is partly responsible. Many of us now are working from home and Rebecca, we joke about this all the time. You're constantly looking at yourself on the screen, assessing how you look. And I do know for lots and lots of consumers, um, it's a big factor returning to normal, returning to work, going back out with friends. Everybody is aware of their appearance. The RF microneedling market is expected to boom even further with a rapid growth seen between 2020, we've seen this already, yeah. and 2027. And it's driven by a growing demand for non-surgical treatments that provide long lasting results with minimal downtime. And I think ultimately treatments that can be combined with other in-clinic treatments as well. So earlier this year, Judy Murray hit the press with some impressive results following a radio frequency microneedling treatment. This was combined with advanced skincare, um, but these images have driven an industry boom. So not only do we have Judy Murray, we've worked with David Beckham, both Beckham's Victoria and David, Anna Kendrick, Kim Kardashian. There's lots of press coverage around RF microneedling. So it really is one of the most in-demand treatments available on the market at the minute. So just before we delve deeper into radio frequency technology, let's just have a look at what are the top considerations business owners think about when investing in capital equipment. And I think this is really important because Rebecca and I spend a lot of time obviously chatting in clinic and trying to assess what's the right device for you. And, and I think most people, when they're thinking about investing, it's not always about demand. It tends to be that they want to invest in some equipment. So what do we need to consider? So business and client demand for us is huge. Are clients asking for this treatment? Are clients going elsewhere for this treatment? If you're not offering this treatment, are you losing business? A great idea around that as well, if you are trying to assess what your clients are looking for is to create an online poll, a social media poll. It will give you an idea of what clients are looking for. Multi-platform, is it easy to use? And will it, does it offer multiple treatment options to drive revenue? What support can the, the company that you choose to work with offer? Is the business development manager on hand? Can, can he or she get into clinic? What are the customer service team like? And is lots of support in, in place? Consumable costs, a big, big factor. And sometimes these can be hidden in different ways. So make sure you're asking the cost per treatment and get an understanding of what will be, what will be needed to use to deliver each treatment. Return on investment, how quickly can you get your money back on your initial investment? Finance, what are the benefits to financing your device? Will you be paying cash? We know lease rentals are tax deductible, but how is best for you to invest? Warranty, services and breakdown cover. Again, another important point. What happens if the device breaks down? Hopefully not, but you never know. Will you be covered? How quickly can you get a replacement device? Results, efficacy, 
Are the treatments for all skin types? Are the treatments quick? Can they be used in conjunction with other treatments that you're offering? And will it complement your treatment menu? Company reputation, extremely important. You don't want a company that's just going to sell and move on. You want somebody that's going to work with you and is going to help to drive your investment forward. Technology, a big factor. And again, we speak to lot, lots of clinics and it is a minefield when you're looking to invest. And every company that you speak to will say, oh, ours is the best. We've got the best technology. Make sure you look at this one. But ultimately, it's about it being the correct investment for you. So all of these factors combined together, but ultimately technology and how it's delivered into the skin. Training, training changed so much throughout the pandemic. So what will training look like? Will it be in clinic? Will you be supervised by a trainer to make sure the full team are confident on delivering these treatments? And will there be ongoing training support as well? Patient and staff comfort, is the device comfortable? Um, think about you're gonna be holding this handpiece all day long. Is it, is it light? Is it easy to use? Is it user-friendly? And other treat, the treatments comfortable for the patient as well? And the biggest thing for me is marketing support wrapped around all of these. How are you going to drive your investment forward? And how are you going to ensure that this is the number one treatment that you offer in clinic and it's wrapped around everything that you offer? So for me, radio frequency really fills the treatment gap. And just to have a look at this cycle here, let's have a look at the different treatments that are available on the market. So entry level treatments, for example, advanced facials, relaxing, uh, holistic treatments where we're targeting the skin with, with key ingredients. Just imagine if radio frequency could complement that by offering 10 to 15 minutes worth of skin tightening to lift, to sculpt the jawline and uh, to target the eye area. More advanced treatments such as microneedling, casey targeting the muscles and hydrofacial, which is a fantastic treatment. Just imagine if we could combine radio frequency with those treatments as well. We'll see accelerated results, we'll get better results longer term and we can offer a longer, a longer treatment plan to clients. More advanced treatments such as injectables, threads, um, Botox and fillers. Again, all of these fantastic treatments, but actually we still can't lift and tighten the skin yes we know with Botox and filler we get the volume but how are we targeting sculpting the jawline lifting the cheeks specifically targeting fine lines and wrinkles around the eye area treatments such as laser <clears throat> IPL treatments again can be used in conjunction with radio frequency and lastly to consider surgical procedures so Radio frequency can be a, a suitable alternative to surgery. You know, if somebody's considering an eye lift or specifically targeting along the jawline, have we tried radio frequency first? And another option is to use in conjunction as recovery to lift and tighten the skin. Yeah, I think when used in conjunction with surgical procedures, there's no doubt about it. I think most of the plastic surgeons that we work with will always recommend sometimes radio frequency even before surgery. Yeah. So um, it really is an in-demand treatment. But that, I think that's a really great slide, actually, because it just shows how it underpins everything that happens. In and, and I think the thing is, Rebecca, we, we were talking about this yesterday. It's it's what's missing. It is the treatment gap. Yeah. And everybody we speak to says the same thing. I, I offer all these treatments, but actually... And nobody can see me, but just pulling up my cheeks, you know, they want to be able to lift and tighten along the jawline. And we know there's huge demand for face and body sculpting treatments as well. Yeah. So with radio frequency, you can treat every skin aging concern. And I think sometimes when we speak to clinic owners, they're quite shocked actually as to what areas they can target. So just to have a run through, eye hoods and crow's feet, crepey skin textural issues on the surface of the skin, deeper lines and wrinkles, drooping jowls and the submental, lax, loose, sagging skin, acne scarring, open pores, sun damaged skin. We can also treat the body, stretch marks, laxity, uh, post baby, lifting and tightening the skin. The body hand pieces can also be used in conjunction with weight loss. So it is a full package that can touch every single client that walks through the door. Absolutely. So Rebecca, um, we're coming over to you now. We, we've spoke about the fact now we've seen this industry boom around radio frequency and in particular radio frequency microneedling. And we get asked lots and lots of questions about the, our technology that we work with at Endymed, but actually more specifically how radio frequency microneedling works, the difference between this and just general microneedling. So we're going to come across to you now. If you are looking at investing in this um, any device microneedling, what would you consider? 
Yeah, so um, obviously RF microneedling is the uh, the treatment of the moment, but of course radio frequency on its own is, is also available. But if we're looking at the RF microneedling on its own, with any device, the first place you've got to start with is it FDA approved. And that might sound like, yeah, very obvious to some, but you'd be surprised at some of the machines we come across in some of the biggest clinics, and they're not aware sometimes of what they need to look for. And it is a minefield out there. So FDA approval, without doubt, is the first thing you should look for to check that it's quality assured. But the other big thing, and I always say this because we, we've obviously worked with radio frequency for over 10 years now, and we've worked with devices and we know um, but in a great big pool of um, machine brands, and we always have a brand of the moment, this sort of 18 month turnover of machinery that comes and goes. Um, we know that the first thing you want to look at is clinical data, because actually when you start looking at the clinical data for that particular device and its own patient studies, you will find that your vast number of machines will come down to a relatively small group. And they will be the names that you'll be probably have looked at and considered. So um, really important to show um, that those machines have that proven efficacy behind them, because once you've got that, then you can confidently say that you can get predictable and long lasting results for your customers. And that's really important. So you need the studies to show that that actually happens. And the second thing really is leading technology. There's no doubt about it. The machine is as good as the technology within it. Um, and that is why some machines are still going longer than others, because they are proven to work. So you need the quality there, obviously, but you also need the safety. And that is paramount. Having something that's suitable for all skin type is, is a real win win because, you know, we all know that in so many clinics, people have multiple devices so that they can target different skin types and different skin concerns. Having something that treats all skin types is really important, which makes it so versatile but also considering a device that you can future proof. And by that, we mean you can grow with it. You can start with one thing and you can add on different platforms as you go. Rebecca just took us through a slide showing us all sorts of different skin indications that can be targeted by radio frequency, but they can only all be targeted if your machine can target all those concerns because not all radio frequency devices are equal. Some will be able to treat some skin concerns, others will only be able to deliver maybe just skin tightening. So it's important to look at what you need in your clinic and what you want that machine to do and whether you want that machine to grow with you. So the first thing is, if we're going back to radio frequency um, microneedling, you've really got to look at the best technology because it makes all the difference. And the first thing is heating depth. Now this goes for both RF microneedling and any other platform in, in radio frequency. You need something that is going to go to the depth that it says it does. And with RF microneedling, it's got to be precise and controlled. We need a very precise mechanism of action to get that heating into the skin safely and effectively. And that does come down to needle quality. So, you know, there's a lot to be said for different types of needle metals. And we've probably you've probably come across this in the world <laughs> of microneedling in the past. Um, what is the best metal to use? It's very important when you come to um, radio frequency because you've got a lot of heat that's coming with it. And gold plated needles, without doubt, allow for a really smooth insertion into the skin and minimal trauma. Yeah, and, and sorry, Rebecca, I was just going to add there as well the reduced downtime where a stainless steel yeah. can also barb the skin, making the treatment more, com more uncomfortable. Yeah, no, that's a really good point. Um, now, RF delivery system. So, if you are looking at RF microneedling, you might see that some machines have insulated needles and some aren't insulated. These are two totally different treatments. And this is what we really need to point out. The first thing with RF microneedling, it is not a microneedling treatment. So you need to sort of back that out the way if you're looking at a non-insulated um, needle. If you're looking at insulated needles, then actually the radio frequency is less impactful, if you like, and it does become more about needling. So there are two completely different treatments. And also have a look at how those needles are being delivered into the skin. Are you using a kind of a gun effect? Because that's gonna give you a real punch style insertion, which actually means that there's potentially a little bit more trauma because you're actually having to put a lot more force into the skin. Um, or are you looking at something has a, a separate motor that can be used from a step or from a handpiece? When you have a motorized insertion, the, the work is done for you and it is aimed at making sure that those needles are gliding into the skin. 
But finally, and this is really important, you know, we work with a lot of clinics um, on RF microneedling who like the fact that they can manipulate the settings to suit their patient. So if you can adjust your needle, your pulse width, your power, then you can really tailor make a treatment. If you can't do that, then you are limited to what the machine says on the display. Um, and this is important because sometimes you do need to adjust settings in certain situations or in certain parts of the body that might perhaps not correlate with what's on the machine. Um, and you need to understand how they all work in synergy. If you reduce the needle, you have to be able to reduce pulse width and power because the shorter the needle, the less power you need. If you've got the power for a longer needle on there, it is gonna to be too strong. So it is important to understand the technology and the science behind something like RF microneedling. So, you know, as Rebecca said earlier, significant results that can really bridge that gap and enhance the client journey can make such a difference. And I love this image here. And I know this is one of your um, customers, Rebecca, but this is RF microneedling. It's not only conditioning the skin, but we're getting a really good tighten and lift there and the contouring. And it can be such an effective treatment. There is virtually no downtime with this treatment. You've got something that's bridging the gap between an entry level anti-aging treatment and something more significant. And you're able to really enhance that kind of middle ground, if you like. With RF microneedling, you can treat multiple skin concerns. We can treat advanced skin ageing, eye hooding, skin laxity, and we can also go down the road of treating acne scars and stretch marks and other forms of scarring as well. It's an affordable treatment. That's the great thing about RF microneedling. But again, when you're looking at different devices, you will see different pricing. Some charge a lot more for treatments. Others are more affordable. So again, look at that. And of course, long lasting results and patient satisfaction, that's what you want. And I do think that RF microneedling is one of those treatments that is usually always, almost always a win-win for your customers. We know that when we give somebody this treatment that they're actually going to be happy with their results. So, so Rebecca, I was just going to add there as well. I think it's really important when, when you're thinking about your own business now and your clinic and your customers, you know, kind of what treatments they are offering in the clinic, you know, what, what have they experienced? I think with the microneedling technology, it's one of the most advanced treatments available. Yeah. Um, so it's great when you've got a device where you can move through multiple treatments, treatment options as well, such as skin tightening, and you've got the option to be able to advance onto RF microneedling as well. Yeah, completely. So um, we touched on RF microneedling, but let's have a look at just general kind of technology comparison, because we've mentioned before, radio frequency isn't just RF microneedling. You can have RF on its own, which is a real entry level treatment. We'll talk about that in a minute. And that really is the bedrock in so many different clinics. Um, there are different methods of delivering RF, um, sorry, RF energy into the skin. Uh, monopolar and bipolar are the two kind of most standard. And you can see there, if you look at those images, that the energy with monopolar is going quite deep, um, but there's a lot of focus on the epidermis at that one electrode. Um, with bipolar radio frequency, it does tend to be more superficial because energy will always take the shortest route. And if it's going from a positive to a negative electrode, it's going to skim across the skin, so to speak. So you might find there are machines out there that try and manipulate bipolar using different methods to get that slightly deeper. And that would be multipolar, where they have just more electrodes across the skin. And then you can look at technologies like 3D radio frequency that are really thinking about getting fields of energy deeper in the skin so that it's more volumetric and more predictable in its depth so it's not uncontrolled. And that's by using multiple generators and electrodes. And if you just look below there, there's a comparison in the thermal imaging that between bipolar RF and 3D RF, you've actually got four times more heating with the 3D RF. So it is going that bit deeper. So and I think historically, Rebecca, I was just going to add there as well, I think historically some of the older technology around RF, anybody who's, who can remember doing RF at college, it could be quite uncomfortable. You would get yeah. heated zones on the skin. So you would be working over the skin and the, the patient would want to pull away because it would feel quite hot. So the latest technology, for example, the 3D, you don't experience that because no. it is deeper, more, more controlled heating on the skin. Yeah, completely. So skin tightening, as I just touched on there, this, this is your entry level, but incredibly effective treatment. And this is really what you'll find in most radio frequency devices, a straightforward skin tightening treatment. And it very much is the go-to in any, um, any clinic really, because mm. 
this is where you've got to sculpt and lift your face and this is what everybody wants it is a really painless treatment there's absolutely no downtime at all um, it can be incredibly comfortable really relaxing so patients like to come back to it it's also a treatment where you can see a result almost instantly it can be very affordable it treats all areas of the face and body and it's brilliant at enhancing those standard in-clinic treatments. So for example, radiofrequency combined with hydrofacial at the same time in a treatment is an incredible treatment. You can combine it with LED, you can combine it separately with standard skin needling, so your dermarola or your motorized skin needling, um, and it works well as a one-off red carpet facial as well. Um, we've got lots of clinics who combine um, radiofrequency with all sorts of different treatments in clinics. So you can really widen your treatment menu with this. Um, yeah. And it's a very simple treatment and it's quick as well. Yeah, and I think the instant results that can be seen post-procedure, um, so it's fantastic for special occasions, you know, you can very easily introduce it to any treatment, even on the day. So if you're performing um, a, just a standard facial, advanced facial, you can just say, you know, do you want to, to add on 20 minutes worth of skin time? Yeah. It's a great way to drive extra revenue, but the results that are seen will instantly drive that client to book a cost of treatment as well. Yeah, completely. So the point of that slide is really we're just saying, it will become the workhorse. So the skin tight and hand pieces will be the workhorse in clinic. It should be in use all the time. You should be hearing the whir of the device constantly being used and driving additional revenue for the clinic as well. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. A radio frequency device in any any clinic is, is constantly on the go, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So Rebecca, back to you. Yeah, so I think one of the things we we try to highlight at Aesthetic Care is the importance of your investment and what support is available for you when investing. Um, so there's some amazing companies out there that offer amazing technology and amazing devices, but what support is available? And is your supplier invested in your investment? And I think this is something at Aesthetic Care we do do extremely well. So professional training, hands-on training and regular refresher sessions. You know, at the minute, there's a high staff turnover in clinic. Uh, people are off. Um, it, it's constantly changing, ever evolving. So what happens when you've got a new starter? How do you get those trained? Is there regular sessions that they can join online? And is a trainer available to come in clinic to support you as well? We tend to find the first six weeks of investing in a new device, there's lots of questions from the team as well. So patient selection, contraindications, medication, how do you find an answer to that quite quickly? So is there a WhatsApp group you can bob a message in? Is there a trainer on hand to be able to offer the support with that? So extremely important that you've got a full understanding of what the training will look like. Business development. How are you going to launch this device in your clinic? So is there a launch event support available? Will somebody come in and run that event with you? What promotional activities there, both in clinic and online? Is there an option to run live interactive sessions with your audience that might not be able to get into clinic? Um, so one of the things we offer here at Aesthetic Care is one of the trainers can go live with you, talk about the device, talk about the technology, because I think one of the things when you first invest in new equipment is actually getting your head around how you sell these treatments, how you talk about them and confidently ensure it's the right treatment plan for the patient. And marketing, a big, big factor, I say this all the time, what campaigns are there to drive bookings and generate interest for your wider audience? Ultimately, when investing in a new device, you're wanting to attract that wider audience of customers and drive them into your business. Is content available for your website and for social media? Is it on trend? Is it regularly refreshed? Is the great before and after images that you can use to promote the treatments and device in clinic as well? <clears throat> So could Endymed be your next investment? So we want to talk to you in just a couple of slides about Endymed and how amazing this device is. So be part of the industry boom. We know it's huge at the minute. We're getting so much interest around our device, radio frequency. The beauty of Endymed, which we're going to talk about, is that it's scalable. It's powered by superior clinically validated 3D radio frequency, which Rebecca explained. We get that deeper volumetric, comfortable heating is the only technology in the world that has multiple generators of RF energy. It's a scalable device. You can start off with one hand piece and work your way through until you've got all seven. Quick, comfortable treatments that offer outstanding results. 
Yeah, so um, just a quick snapshot of what's available on NGMED. Um, I mentioned earlier, it's it's a multi-platform device. You can grow your device with it. You can start with just one handpiece. So within facial tightening and lifting, we have three treatment handpieces. Within body tightening and lifting, we have two. And then we have the NGMED um, microneedling handpiece, the Intensive. And we also have NGMED FSR as well, which is a fractional skin resurfacer. So you've got so much choice and so many different ways in which you can grow your machine by choosing exactly what you feel you need at that time. Yeah, it's a little bit like a sweet shop, you know, just think about your own business and think, right, to start off with, you know, you might only be offering advanced facials at the minute, so introducing just one skin tighten handpiece could be a big change for your clinic. You might be offering more advanced treatments and actually you're looking for that next step up to more fractional, more advanced treatments such as the microneedling. So there is an option and a platform for everybody. You've got an opportunity with Endymed to generate significant revenue very, very quickly. So just 10 treatments per week will generate 78,000 per year. Three intensive FSR treatments per week, 62,000 or just over per year. And your Endymed device can generate just short of 300,000 pounds per year quite quickly. I think it's important that we stress as well with the RF microneedling technology, we work with healthcare professionals um, or healthcare professional support in clinic. And the skin tighten option is great for the, the junior estheticians or uh, the newer team members to work in conjunction with the advanced estheticians as well alongside injectables. So it just fits in so well alongside everything that you offer in clinic. Yeah, completely. So we're, we're out of time and I'm, I'm conscious everybody's probably starting work at nine o'clock, but thank you so much for joining us this morning. I really hope you found it useful. We'd love to talk to you. We'd love to tell you what Endymed can bring to your business and you can be part of that industry boom and really come back with a bang. Everybody's looking for these treatments. As we've said, with the Zoom effect, everybody's researching where they can get these treatments done. So if you'd like to chat to us, please drop us a message in the chat box. We will automatically follow up with everybody. But if you are thinking, get me started, how soon can I get going? If you drop us a message in the chat box, one of the team will be in touch today. We can set up a Zoom meeting and look to then come in and do a demo, see the technology in action and talk about how we can work with you moving forward. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope everybody has a fantastic Friday and a great weekend and we see you back at the Aesthetic Care Academy soon. Thank you. Bye.